Hey everybody, this is Pastor Chris coming to you live from Lexington Park Baptist Church's PC Studios. It is April the 5th. What is that, Cinco de Mayo Day? Hey, good to see you guys. Glad you're here. I hope you're well, blessed, and everything is going well for you. So anyway, um, how are you doing today? I Again, I hope well. I hope the Lord is blessing you, and I hope um, that uh, you can hear me loud and clear. I've got really short on time today, so I want to just get to this, get straight to what we're doing today. So We've been talking about what we preached on Sunday, which was really you all presenting to me um, things about our church. So I want to give you some cards before we get into the values. I want to give you some cards of what people are describing. One word that would describe our church, happy in Christ would be one. Happy in Christ. I think that's a good one. We want to be happy in Christ, not happy in the ways of the world. Happy in Christ. How about, this is a vacation. I love it. How about uplifting? The church is uplifting. How about supportive? Supportive. Our church is supportive. How about fellowship? Our church has fellowship. Uh, hope. There's hope. There's hope. We love that, right? So all those types of things. Let's see. Persistent. I think that's a kind of a thematic thing that our church is persistent. Our church is devoted. Devoted. How about our church is involved? These are things people are using. I love this one too. Different but unique. Obedience. That there's an obedience to the Lord. How about we are evangelical? We'll be talking about that today that actually can go into probably the other thing. Revelation. I'm not really sure what people meant by that, but that's, that's good. How about peaceful? Peaceful. This is God's house. It's peaceful. Consistent. We're consistent. It's a constant in our culture where there's not that stuff. Bold. The word bold. Um, excellence, excellence is in there. Um, anyway, we have Christ, Christ focused, hyphenated word, I guess, right? Uh, generous, and I think our church is very generous in many ways. Generous, 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 godly, godly, and another one, I, I skipped some, but committed. So you're going to see all these. We're going to put them down on the board in the foyer so you can see what people have written about our church. And, and that brings us to how we've been talking about the values. The LPBC, right? LPBC. Loving God and others, right? Proclaiming the gospel. Um, you know, building up each other, family, right? And connecting with community. So the C is the final value of our church. One of the banners up front that you'll see every week. And it says that we are connected with community. So we want to be intentional in how we reach people. So what is that? That's evangelism, right? That's one of the cards, evangelism. But we're welcoming. This came up. Listen, welcoming came up uh, a lot. There's a lot of welcomings here. So welcoming church. Uh, uh, I want to get back to these two because they're different. Uh, another word for that connecting with community and welcoming is friendly. We're friendly church. We're a welcoming church. Welcoming church. Look at all this. How about this? One word to describe is welcoming church. How about this? Welcoming. How about this? Welcoming. Isn't that awesome? So many of you put down welcoming. But here's the two I want to show you. These are new people. I'm new. Look at the word, a new person. Whoever these two people were that were new, look what they picked about our church. Welcoming. To me, that means we're living out that final value of connecting with Christ, connecting our community with the church, connecting our community with Jesus Christ. And those are important. And, and that connecting with the community, one of our values, Matthew 4, 19. And Jesus said to them, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. We are supposed to go evangelism. We're supposed to go where they are. Matthew 28, 19 through 20. Go, therefore, our, our mission statement, right? Go make disciples. Be disciples, make disciples. John 17, 18, as you sent me into the world, Jesus is praying to the Father, I now send them into the world. Acts 1, 8, you will see power from the Holy Spirit once it comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, all Judea, Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When we see those four scriptures, by the way, on our website, you can see Go under what we believe and find that on there and w w about us, who we are. We define our values. Loving God, which we talked about that. Loving came up. Proclaiming the gospel, which is about truth, doctrine, biblical focused. And then we talk about building up each other, about being a family, being home. Those words came up. And then now connecting with community, being evangelical, being friendly, being welcoming. Those are important. Now, we are welcoming with those truths, though, and we are welcoming with that love, and we are welcoming while we're still building up each other without compromise. 
these values run together. Powerful, powerful statement. And I think the proclaiming and connecting are really important ones. We've got to proclaim the truth so that we connect people with that truth. We cannot connect with people and say, I just want to be a friendly church. I just want to be a welcoming church. Everybody's in welcome here. True statement. Not everybody's welcome to stay as they are here. We want to see people's lives transformed by the truth, by the love of God. Right? Because they love God. And God loves them and they receive that love. It transforms their lives. And then they begin to become home and family and, and learn what that means to be in church. And then we're connecting with the community. We're being fishers of men. We're seeing lives change. That is how these values work out. And I'm excited because we're doing that as a church. We do this and we do it well. So as I end this talk today, just be encouraged. As you look at all those scriptures I said, making us fishers of men, we are witnesses we are to go and make disciples. These are action statements connecting with our community. But what an awesome statement to all of us that new people would say, we're welcoming, we're friendly. I, 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 to me, that speaks volumes. Um, so keep up the good work, you all. And thank you. You encouraged me with these cards as I see that we're actualizing our values as a pastor, um, that motivates me to know that you believe those things. So transitioning now to Sunday. This Sunday's Mother's Day. Remember your Mother's Day. We're going to look at Psalm 31. We're going to look at Luke 18 with Jesus bringing, or 15, bringing the kids to him. We're going to look at another Proverbs about training up a way to have a child. And I'm going to look at mothers. And it's going to be a little bit different. Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be like the world. And I'm going to use the word woke. Because wokeism really evolves to worldliness today. And so you don't want to miss this sermon. Listen, it's not going to be a typical Mother's Day sermon. I mean, but you know me. I'm not going to avoid uh, the controversy. I'm not going to avoid and put my head in the sand and, and allow indoctrination to happen to our children. Mothers, I'm going to encourage you. The world needs godly women more today than in every any other generation, in my opinion, of society. We need you. So if you have a good mother, a godly mother, she is to be blessed and she is to be praised. She's worthy of being blessed, and she's worthy of praise. Not the praise that we give to God, but the praise we give because God has put her in our lives, and they are blessed. So if you've got a good godly woman in your life, whether it's your spouse, or whether it's your mother or grandmother, or whatever it might be, another woman that's mentoring you, you thank God. They are blessed, and they are to highly be praised, and that's what we're gonna preach on this Sunday. And uh, again, not a typical just make you feel good mothers, although I will make some good positive statements about you. Uh, but I'm going to challenge you mothers to don't let your babies grow up to be woke or be like the world. Hey, that's all I've got for you. We will see you Sunday at 10 a.m. I look forward to it. Happy Mother's Day in advance. I look forward to seeing you here this Sunday. God bless you and have a great, great